Sadhguru, I just have a small doubt. This whole universe is Shiva. Why do we come to this particular this particular place to just to uh, see him? The whole universe is made just him. You need an incubator to hatch. <laughs> you need something to crack the shell, otherwise you don't. So that's why we come to Kailash for that. Because you didn't do it in the programs. <laughs> We're putting to you through a stuffer grind. <laughs> Don't the doctors try out like this? Initially a mild antibiotic, if it doesn't want a stronger one, a stronger one, a stronger one, just like that. So... So this is the ultimate? No, 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 we got more <laughs> No, if everything is revealed, you will understand everything according to your understanding and then nothing will work. Right now, you think every, everywhere there is Shiva and it didn't work, <laughs> isn't it? It's not worked. If it happened experientially, it would have worked miraculously. But it's somebody else's idea. <coughs> somebody said everywhere there is Shiva, you picked up that idea, it didn't work for you. So one possibility, one dose which could have worked wonderfully has been wasted. So the next door should not be revealed to you, it must be injected. <laughs> Otherwise it won't work. <laughs> Everything will go waste. That's why I keep on saying, never read any spiritual books, because all the possibilities you will destroy intellectually. <laughs> any one of them could have worked for you if it was given to you at the right moment in the right way. But because you think you know everything, nothing works. So, like Janani was saying, Shiva is everywhere. Why <laughs> should we travel this far to meet him? Yes, it is true, he is everywhere. If it is everywhere, why go to your particular place? Because it takes high altitude to melt you down. <laughs> At mean sea level, you won't open up. What you call a Shiva, if you have to translate to English language, we can say it's grace. Grace is not in any one place. Like gravity is not in any one place on this planet, grace is not in any one place in this cosmos, it's everywhere. But are you capable of receiving it everywhere? Can you be worshipful in your toilet? Why not? Some time ago when I said this, there was a whole lot of uproar and people got very upset. When I said being is more important than prayer, <laughs> Now I am not trying to demean prayer, all I am saying is, if you are capable of bringing that quality into every aspect of your life, if you are there, that's different. If you could be worshipful to just everything around you, if you could receive everything as the ultimate around you, if that was true, your life would be something else altogether. There would be no room for fear, there would be no room for frustration, there would be no room for insecurity, there would be no room for anything. For different things to flower, you need different types of atmospheres. Some places have the necessary intensity and necessary focus of energy. To make certain things happen better, it does not mean it cannot happen somewhere else. Why do you go and pray in a temple? You can pray in your toilet. No, because temple has been created with a certain focus, a certain atmosphere where it's to come to such a state as prayer within yourself, that is a place where it is easier for you to get there.